the, the whole training pro program's objective is to make ourselves ready for the next wave. Till now, for last one and a half years, we are having this uh, COVID-19 and uh, first uh, wave, then probably we are uh, completing the seven, second wave also. And after that, we are preparing ourselves for the third wave. Not for we definitely, it should not come, but we make ourselves uh, prepared. Now, before I start something, telling you, I should uh, make one thing that uh, for uh, talking to uh, professionals, uh, definitely I ne have had to have have to have the, some more time, but I didn't get that time. But uh, honestly speaking, I tried my level best to uh, show you or talk to you whatever the evidence-based medicine till now came up with. To start with, this uh, coronavirus is uh, basically a uh, RNA virus which has got a single RNA viral genome, uh, have like uh, other, uh, we, which we used to know this rhino, influenza, and HIV. And they look like a sun-like shape. That's why this corona name. Is, I, in this slide, I'm showing the, the size, size matters actually. Uh, it's a, a comparative size. It's less than actually 120 to 160 nanometer. You can see that one nanometer is uh, nearly 1,000 micrometer, and 1,000 micrometer is one millimeter. So how small it is. This uh, this is basically a parasite. So unless it uh, comes to, uh, to a living cell, it it can't go uh, or it can't propagate of itself. And uh, transmission basically till now, which we could come to know that is uh, through aerosol. And our portal of entry is nose, mouth, eye like this. And especially nose and the, from nose to lung. The nose, because the ACE2 in a receptor, that means angiotensin converting enzyme uh, is a two receptor, which, uh, which uh, present in lung, as well as nose also. And that's why it harbors uh, in uh, nose. And we may get it uh, from uh, as a, during the rapid, uh, this rat test, we can retrieve those uh, from nose also. Though the percentage is, uh, of, uh, percentage of success is less than from nose. Rather, nasopharynx is better one. The uh, main uh, complaint generally patients have are fever, cough, shortness of breath. Less commonly, the rhinorrhea, short throat. By this time, we are uh, habituated or we are uh, we know all those uh, things, even diarrhea, vomiting. And more, what is important that uh, only 5% is a severe form. That is pneumonia, SARS, kidney failure. That is uh, good for us. And this uh, corona patients needs to be kept in airborne infection isolation room, what I just uh, sh uh, shown in, though most of our hospitals don't have this negative pressure isolation room, so that the uh, uh, virus which uh, gets out from a uh, affected patient can't go much beyond this room, that room. And uh, the comorbidity is like uh, the hypertension, diabetes, malignancy, obesity. And those are actually the bad for uh, the patient because if they have those, the percentage of uh, severity increases. Now, I, I'm just trying to show this uh, picture uh, to tell you that how it comes to us. Someone uh, coughs, uh, someone uh, coughs or sneezes, the droplet uh, forms and it reaches reach beyond, generally by six feet, it drops down. And but uh, after within a six foot range, it can go in in your I mean a, a person and through nose nasopharynx it can go to lung. 
and uh, the in a lung mainly type 2 pneumocytes the clara cells get hold of it and uh, the 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 particle which are larger than 10 micrometer generally blocked by our usual surgical mask but the n95 which is in um, more uh, news right now that can uh, stop the, this getting in uh, when the particle size is even smaller than 10 micrometer i i just brought out this ro r not it's not that much related but it's a epidemiological term through it, it's a basically the, the idea the, the how the uh, coronavirus reproduces. I mean the number, how it takes. It indicates the contagious infectious disease. I mean, in case of corona, right now it's a 5.7. It's a quite a dangerous one. That's why we see that uh, in a, especially in a second phase, whenever a person in a family gets uh, affected quickly the others also family members also get affected that is one person can uh, transmit to 5.7 percent like this you can see this uh, uh, picture also how one person can uh, infect the others also so uh, ultimately number increases a lot but till now when, uh, that means uh, 25th april uh, 2021 uh, the number uh, is uh, basically not that much. A 65 million infection and only 1.3 million death. And that is a bit uh, uh, is a good news for us. Now this aerosols, how it disperses? Whenever we cough, the velocity and whenever we sneeze, the velocity differs. And uh, normal talking, that means we excel in health. Whenever we excel, the virus generally gets uh, dropped actually within a range of 1.5 meter. But if it's a cough, that is 2 meter. Whenever it snitches, it uh, comes to up to 6 meter. Those are things to just make ourselves aware. I know that most of us know this, but just to refresh our memories that why this 6 feet is uh, coming is uh, in picture. Now, SI, this is median serial interval, is another epidemiological term. It's a, uh, like that one uh, infection, uh, the incubation period after a person getting uh, the uh, corona in it, uh, the uh, flaring of the disease, it takes generally four days. And median incubation period is like four or five days. And so, but uh, important is that substantial asymptomatic transmission could be possible and then the, in case of corona the fatality rate is just two to three percent whereas the we just uh, passed uh, the SARS in, in 2002 and March 2012 world has passed those has gonna had a much more fatality than rate than the corona now this pathophysiology uh, before we uh, can deal with uh, uh, any disease, we should know the pathophysiology because why does uh, those persons who are having uh, corona gets, uh, actually deteriorate so fast? Because the uh, killer is not the corona itself. Killer is the inflammation. That's why I just try to make it a um, uh, red one that uh, to keep ourselves uh, know that uh, the active viral replication which it starts then uh, automatically the as a host response immune inflammation starts that's fine but when this immune inflammation uh, changes to hyper immune inflammation state that means uh, coined as a cytokine storm then it's a difficult one and that's, then it's a dangerous one then generally uh, five to six days after uh, starting uh, uh, the symptoms like uh, fever and all those things, this uh, starts. And so most important that, that we have to catch hold this uh, stage so that the persons before it starts to having uh, going to immune hyperinflammation, we should we can start the steroid. And that steroid is a basically game changer. But whenever it uh, hyperinflammation uh, stage starts. 
then eventually it goes to organ damage then uh, multi organ uh, dysfunction and death unfortunately the one is death type 2 pneumocytes which uh, is uh, which actually gets infected with corona virus they starts uh, host response triggers and the the responses are like immuno inflammatory thrombotic and endothelitis why i this uh, pointed out this endothelitis is most important because the most of the respiratory and non respiratory organs gets uh, affected mainly due to endothelial dysfunction this diffuse damage uh, after this uh, corona started in the second stage there is a uh, it causes the alveoli full with mucus cell debris deposit like fibrin halodon and all those things uh, when it gets deposited then uh, alarm can't work properly as you know that uh, when air goes in and from air the uh, from ventilation to perfusion occurs and oxygen goes inside but uh, since this uh, mechanical uh, uh, debris is there the lung can't work properly and progressive lung edema causes the uh, alveolar collapse because uh, we know that that whenever the uh, there is uh, no perfusion basically so uh, nitrogen and oxygen ultimately it this gets out and uh, due to elastance the uh, lung gets collapsed and after it gets collapsed collapse the atelectasis occur and due to some prophagotic factors like the uh, uh, tg f uh, beta uh, fibrosis occurs and that fibrosis is an unfortunate one that fibrosis is uh, probably the permanent one. apart from that there are microangiopathy that is also dangerous one and the uh, when the endothelium gets uh, damaged then platelet uh, generally uh, like to sit there and the uh, fibrin microthrombi uh, cascade starts and if it's in a uh, it, it can uh, cause in anywhere of the body but uh, in the case of uh, lung in uh, in the liver alveolar capillaries uh, it uh, starts having this uh, leukocyte means uh, leukocytes comes there as a uh, immune response and whenever leukocyte t cells comes there then they, they starts having the the all those cytokine means interleukin and all those infiltrates uh, then, then uh, uh, comes there also and they have their uh, adverse effect and apart from that hypercoagulability is also another genuine problem that's why uh, we heard that uh, some of the uh, post mortem uh, just uh, could uh, detect that the persons died due to the overall body uh, thromboembolism the uh, vessels got stuck now ultimately uh, the uh, lung which uh, got uh, got affected it uh, goes to acute respiratory distress syndrome basically it's a impairment of oxygenation now, but uh, how we know that and when the partial pressure of oxygen in a vessel is less than 60 mm mercury and whenever it is uh, like this due to oxygenation problem it uh, increases the automatic uh, respiratory drive in increases that is a uh, neural stimulation we have the normal uh, system we have and for that the tachypnea starts tachypnea means the rate of uh, respiration increases and whenever the respiration uh, in rate increases automatically the respiratory alveolosis starts means our uh, uh, body our cells are uh, used i mean like to have a particular uh, ph range and whenever that gets deranged then the body starts functioning irrationally then how to detect this ards that is the pao2 by fio2 the fio2 means fractionation of oxygen saturation so that is less than 300 mm mercury and uh, it shows that in a uh, uh, as a symptom is spo2 less than 93% means the sign is uh, uh, which we get outside is less than 93% and uh, 
and vq mismatch is there vq means v for ventilation q for perfusion yeah, as we know that the air goes in in a last part of the respiratory alveoli and uh, uh, blood uh, whenever blood supply is there ventilation occurs normally but if the ventilation is uh, there but perfusion is not there uh, then we call it a dead space and the similarly when the uh, perfusion is uh, there but uh, ventilation is not there we call it a sand we anesthesiologists generally do know it but uh, in, in this time of corona everybody got to know this vq mismatch so the quite a technical term now dead space ventilation uh, whenever the dead space ventilation increases then uh, obviously there is a uh, cascade generation and the thrombosis uh, part of uh, means body starts uh, behaving irrationally and thrombosis start starts and the whenever the thrombosis starts it's a uh, progressive one then endothelial damage is there and after all the pleural effusion also there whenever the pleural effusion i mean the fluid in the lung then obviously the lung can't work properly and uh, apart from this if the diffusion barrier in uh, when a, the diffusion barrier is increases then alveolitis and pulmonary edema is also starts and the and all those things added with the uh, shunting that means right to left shunt and the right to left shunt this uh, causes uh, all those consolidation fibrosis atelectasis angiogenesis and the whole gamut of things ultimately shows to us the the patient poor my patients actually have have the progressive tissue hypoxia that means whatever oxygen we are uh, giving but it can't reach his blood vessels and that is a dangerous part and that's why we are really afraid of acute respiratory distress syndrome stage this is a nice picture i think you will like it but the thing is that the symptoms of hypoxia is uh, like uh, early is uh, restlessness anxiety like uh, recently we have uh, detected that uh, some of the patients they just uh, don't like this having a mask and they behave in a irrational way sometimes we just uh, scold them but probably they will they are starting to have this uh, hypoxia that's why they are behaving like this we should be aware of that apart from that uh, the sympathetic override is there during whenever a person is hypoxic that's why uh, tachycardia and tachypnea uh, this, that comes in but if it goes on and on then the late features come that is a dangerous one then the bradycardia extreme restlessness dyspnea dyspnea is a symptom patient one patient actually feels very uh, means uh, he have the difficulty to uh, breathe even and he is very conscious then and get very much afraid also the warning signs to step up treatment that means when we should uh, uh, make our treatment to increase that is if patient is at home it should not be at home it should be brought down uh, to a uh, hospital take center or if he is a normal a general bed in a hospital then he should be brought to uh, higher uh, facility that means icu like this those are the difficulty in breathing persistent fever high grade fever recurrence of fever after uh, remission palpitation chest pain chest, chest tightness severe cough any new onset of symptom all those things the uh, doctors should get aware that whenever the uh, call comes that those things are uh, coming that means something is bad happening with that patient and the red flag signs are spo2 uh, which you generally we have you used to measure with uh, pulse oximeter and nowadays it's a very common with common people also so whenever they, they, this is uh, less than 95% in room air or crp that is a lab finding that's a c reactive protein it's a acute phase reactant whenever the inflammation starts it uh, comes from the uh, liver basically liver the body that uh, whenever it's uh, more than five times of the upper laboratory normal and then it's a dangerous one and the another thing the uh, what i uh, previously told that uh, hypercoagulability and the thromboembolism and that means the casket started and so dimer Uh, which is, uh, comes from the uh, fibrin also that that starts increasing and when it's um, more than uh, two times of upper uh, limit then it's a dangerous one 
and nlr is neutrophil and lymphocyte ratio normally lymphocyte uh, neutrophil and lymphocyte have the ratio less than 3.13 but if it's more than that that means the neutrophil increases and uh, lymphocyte uh, dec uh, decreasing that is a dangerous portion it's not just acute phase reactant whatever uh, we uh, used to have whenever the inflammation or this uh, insult starts uh, comes to our body is a uh, like uh, from heart troponin nt uh, probe uh, bnp myoglobin uh, and ckmb all those we can and then that's why the patients uh, in this case sometimes the myocardial on infarction if going if going side coexistent also uh, it's difficult to uh, find out and apart from that the procalcitonin is very common right now everybody knows it the crp uh, interleukin 6 and uh, ferritin for this procalcitonin what i can uh, gather i could gather that uh, the apart from the uh, actually procalcitonin previously we used to know that uh, procal whenever the bacterial infection is there procalcitonin gets increased and from that point we can differ differ that and then this is for that the patient is having bacterial infection but in case of covid when this uh, procalcitonin uh, level is very high then uh, there is a chance as a, uh, our previous experience shows that the very chance of uh, patient getting severe in uh, covid that means patient is deteriorating first and apart from that crp interleukin 6 the interleukin 6 that is the it comes from the what i previously told that t lymphocytes so in the immune uh, hyperinflammation uh, starts then all those in, in, in increases and those are the biomarker for us right now because when those uh, increases in a uh, that means there increases lips and bound then we can uh, understand that the patient is actually succumbing to uh, corona virus ferritin d dimer d dimer total wbc and th those are from blood and uh, lymphocyte count eosinophil platelet is decreases and liver also gets deranged and uh, this uh, uh, enzymes in it starts increasing and uh, also uh, kidney function starts deteriorating by increasing the blood urea and creatinine and at this point if patient is hypovolemic also that actually adds on this uh, this is a picture just uh, to show that uh, the how the viral phase and the uh, this biomarkers relate the so in the starting that is uh, the normally with the mild lymphopenia normal blood gas is go on increasing and the uh, condition of the patient also go on decreasing this asymptomatic to mild moderate severe critical like this and the in critical critical stage host immune response is such a in a high uh, strong uh, level that uh, even uh, the inflammatory markers ferritin all those progressively increases and cytopenia is are there and even uh, renal function deteriorates and all those I mean, markers are almost started increasing and then patient needs to be doctors to uh, decide uh, when to bring that patient to the in a intensive care unit this is for prone ventilation it's just my uh, objective of this talk is just to hovering the whole uh, corona system because uh, this is the first one uh, the, so do you don't uh, uh, expect to much from this because our uh, seniors will be uh, taking uh, the actual uh, didactic lectures and hands on training later i just try to uh, sum up the things which are in a uh, news right now another is uh, prone ventilation is very common now this is a excellent we anesthesiologists used to know that the prone ventilation always improves the ventilation of the lung uh, it actually reduces the difference between dorsal and ventral trans pulmonary pressure and ultimately ventilation is homogeneous one and and the, the picture you are uh, seeing that the gravity causes the whenever the person is a uh, dorsal in uh, is in his uh, dorsal position then most of the lung is gets uh, in a gravity due to gravity uh, having much more uh, uh, perfusion rather than ventilation and when he prones gets prone 
then the uh, river it gets reverses obviously the ventilation perfusion mismatch also decreases so uh, the uh, advantages of uh, are uh, like uh, some few uh, technical one that means recruited uh, recruitment in dorsal lung region because when we uh, uh, just uh, respire very uh, a large chunk of our uh, lung generally don't get uh, ventilated equally so uh, they are uh, try to be in a uh, dormant stage or like uh, atelectasis uh, stage like this but we need to recruit this that's why this pranayam and all those things helps this recruitment in dorsal lung region increases the uh, end expiratory lung volume increase the chest wall elastance decrease alveolar shunt improve tidal volume and all those things actually goes to have the homogeneous ventilation throughout the lung now there are few counter indications too that means if uh, persons have spinal cord instability uh, definitely we won't uh, like to make him prone because that will be a dangerous one otherwise the severe hemodynamic instability elevated intracranial pressure even pre pregnancy in case of pregnancy we uh, might uh, advise the left lateral uh, position rather than the uh, prone position and intestine of uh, ischemia obesity like this that those are the mechanical one it goes on i'm just showing here uh, one uh, uh, aims uh, guideline uh, i need not to elaborate right now uh, but uh, the from third may and recent came, another thing is came has come and that's telling that uh, ivermectin just i am to uh, summing uh, summing up others are uh, same but uh, ivermectin are not that much preferable and uh, another thing is remdesivir is not the what we used to uh, what we used to in uh, that uh, remdesivir is very useful it's not like that and uh, even uh, in a uh, past uh, week the uh, we used to start the antibiotic uh, the doxycycline azithromycin it's not preferred now and uh, another thing is that steroid should be started the second week of those that's fine the next one is uh, happy hypoxemia that is a, a new term we come across uh, in covid time why this happy patient is hypoxemic but he is happy that means that is a patient is having profound hypoxemia but no proper no proportional respiratory disease patient is not aware uh, our uh, lalisar is uh, just uh, has uh, treated a patient excellent arjun uh, that's why i am showing this uh, to abg most of us uh, as a do do feel that uh, abg is a dangerous one it's not like that just go by ph and pco2 and po2 that will suffice for many things like uh, this patient is uh, getting treated here uh, this uh, two abg one is of 17th may another is 19th may obviously 19th may is better one he is uh, improving that's a clap for our uh, lali sir the, the 17th may one the ph is showing 7.55 that is patient is having clearly alkalosis that means more than 7.4 and pco2 is 33 and though it's not uh, more than uh, 45 uh, which uh, is of dangerous one but you see that po2 the whenever the uh, po2 goes less uh, than uh, 60 it's a uh, danger point and the, this patient is having 42 but probably patient was not uh, aware of that that means he was not having that problem and the after treatment this 19th may the uh, ph came up to 7.36 and pco2 though is slightly increased but you see the po2 is 180 actually what happens whenever patient is hypoxemic then the due to neural uh, tra transmission stimulation patient starts hyperventilating and whenever he starts hyperventilating then left to right shunt and means uh, the uh, oxygen hemoglobin curve st starts to uh, shifting to right and then, then it's become a problem for the patient those are the just uh, aerosol generating pro procedures means so what are the procedures which might increase the aerosol and uh, make uh, the other people uh, in danger uh, for the uh, having uh, to treat the patient of corona this is a new term we uh, come across though it's uh, it was uh, before because uh, uh, 
it was uh, in a uh, in a treatment uh, armamentarium of cancer this d2 deoxy d glucose is a glucose uh, molecule but in uh, iron or ferrous structure of the glucose in a second position oxygen is removed from a hydroxyl ion and then it becomes a d2 deoxy what happens is that like this a uh, good coinage from the drdo actually drdo uh, it uh, came out with this uh, thought because uh, this uh, glucose two d deoxy d glucose was used to uh, be i mean uh, in vogue uh, for the epilepsy patient malignancy patient uh, even to decrease the aging process and now they come up uh, with this uh, idea that uh, why not cheat those cheaters those cheaters with uh, the uh, corona virus what happens this is normally glucose as a vital source of energy that means the aerobic glycolysis they uh, uh, just uh, starts, gives rise to means the energy we need but when the uh, glucose uh, elements uh, they they goes in uh, obviously the corona infected cell also take, takes in and whenever they, they takes they goes in then they are uh, goes to in a next next stage that means 2d glucose 6 phosphate which actually inhibits the aerobic glycolysis and then the uh, uh, corona just uh, stops and we are very happy because we saw that uh, in a powder form such as sachet uh, this uh, sachet con contains powder uh, recently it's uh, seen that um, if uh, it's uh, fed uh, the, uh, with uh, Water to a twice a day for five to seven days. Even after two to three days, patient's oxygen requirement decreases in a handsome way, and that's nice. That uh, what I, actually this is the fine thing that whenever the insult comes, the human race is so uh, nice that we start having something very new, and we just uh, supplement the problems. Another new term. Is mucormycosis. Though it was and it is and it will be with us everywhere, every time, but it's a potentially lethal angio invasive fungal infection. It's a lino orbital cerebral mycormycosis. This term was known to ENT people, but uh, now we also know this. Actually, this uh, is a devastating if the treatment is delayed. The predisposition uh, are uh, like diabetes mellitus, corticosteroid, immunosuppression, and the iron overload. Why this iron overload? I have uh, talk, uh, I'm talking here because in a case of uh, corona, this ferritin gets uh, uh, increased, and normally whenever the uh, ferritin gets in, it is uh, tra transferring, and all those pathways uh, is, is, uh, can cope out uh, this. But in case of corona, since the ferritin increases much more than uh, the mucormycosis, which can fe fe be fed on uh, uh, ferritin, they increases. The reflex signs are like this because since uh, we should uh, catch hold of this very early to get rid of it, the nasal discharge, the mucoid, purulent, blood tinge, or black, nasal stuffiness, facial pain, parasitia, proptosis, headache, like all those things. And the vigilance is that the, we should prioritize surgery. That is very important to get rid of those uh, uh, fungus mechanically. And that's why the ENT people should uh, think of, uh, to get the surgery as early as possible. And apart from that, uh, IV liposomal amphoterism, if the renal function is okay, and amphoterism B, the, that is 5 to 10 milligram per kg body weight, and uh, if uh, required, then uh, prophylactically even posoconazole also could be used, IV 300 mg per day. But most important, that uh, which, uh, what is the message for all of us is that uh, systemic steroid, which actually the game changer in case of uh, corona, but uh, unfortunately it brings out before uh, mycosis danger also. So steroid should be judicially used and tocilizumab, that one is an excellent drug, but the problem is that it is basically immunosuppressant. And uh, so it, the mucormycosis uh, goes up. And good glycemic control, even the betadine mouth gargle, not the nasal one, the uh, mouth gargle 
can uh, prevent uh, uh, short of uh, mycosis and obviously the pro uh, prophylactic posa so uh, just uh, because most of us uh, used to have uh, used this uh, stethoscope bp cuff and thermometer all those things but sisters also i brought out here just how to clean and disinfection those uh, medical equipments this is a very much available in uh, uh, internet this is the uh, how the biomedical waste should be disposed uh, this is also available and we in a igs female hospital we are proud that we use it uh, i mean we uh, see it uh, we obey it very nicely and uh, our sisters uh, do it very nicely after all i am just uh, I won't uh, give you pain much. Uh, this is the last sign, uh, slide. This is uh, my message is that my feelings is that, that do not panic because ultimately the mortality is not that much. So just uh, uh, and yeah, definitely many of us have lo lost our near one. This is really tragedy. But ultimately, the if you see uh, our uh, the whole population of India. Which is much more than uh, the USA, Brazil, uh, altogether, Argentina, and altogether. Uh, our mortality is quite a less one. So, what is our take-home message? It's a frequent hand washing. Keep social distancing, but please, please, please don't be Im get distant emotionally. Please let us stay together. I feel that natural immunity, balanced life, and Overall, positivity is a key to win. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.